Good morning, afternoon and evening, my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady. Right, so today I thought I would bring you a look at this crochet kit. Now this one is the mini craft class and it's the crochet kit creatures. Now I picked this up from The Works, which is an online and store in the UK. Now they do a lot of discount books and other items including crochet kits, knitting kits, knitting books, crochet books and yarn. <laughs> so they do that plus a lot of extra things as well and the prices are always a pretty reasonable in there to be honest. I used to love it when my kids were younger I'd pop in there and grab them a book. Right so uh, let's get on with the information for this kit. Now this kit you can purchase at time of recording that is you can purchase any two of these smaller kits for five pound or they work out at four pound each so it's always best to buy one and get one for your bestie ain't it <laughs> right now the uh, box states that within here we have got three projects make this cute tortoise okay so now th this leads me to believe that we may not get everything that we would hope for right now it's inside our kit it states we have a mini guidebook a dk yarn a crochet hook dining needle and stuffing now on the back it also says learn the basics of crochet and make your own tortoise with this beautiful kit it includes everything you need to get started as well as an easy to follow step by step instructions and plenty of tips and tricks to help you along the way right so if I'd read the back of the box, I would have known that this little kit only has the um, products to make this. He doesn't give us the opportunity to make the unicorn or the seahorse that's also pictured on the box. So uh, let's turn it over, let's open it up and let's see what we do actually get. So to start off with, we will received our crochet book with our instructions and everything like that. So we will have a look at that in a moment. Now let's have a look at the size of the stuffing. Oh my gosh, that's so diddy. But let's give it a quick open. Look, luckily this bag will reseal, I hope. <laughs> okay, it feels quite nice, quite soft as you can see here. Yep, like quite a nice one can't spot any extra bits in there like I've seen in other crochet kits so top marks for picking the right stuff in <laughs> right so then we have got our green crochet hook and darning needle I cannot tell you what size they are as yet but the information will hopefully be in our little mini book now for the yarn do, do, do. okay so we have some black so that's going to be for detailing now that is quite loose i'm just going to spin that up because otherwise i will get it everywhere it will be in a knot and blah 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 <laughs> right so as you know my pet peeve when it comes to kits is that the yarn is not neat in the kits okay so there we go and there is our two and there's nothing left in there so that is it that is what we get in our kit now let's move on to the pattern right so for the pattern let's scoot that lot over and we will have a quick nose now remember i cannot show you all of it i cannot tell you all of them um, like the stitch counts and things like that because otherwise i'll get done for copyright but we've got our introduction we've got our abbreviations and we've got a crochet glossary project number one is a tortoise project number two is the unicorn and project number three is the seahorse now remember you only get enough materials to make project number one so our pattern is written in english terms okay so if you are you only work in american terms you are going to have to do a little bit of tweaking so that you understand what the terminology used is but it's not too difficult honest it's pretty much all single crochet 
Right, the uh, glossary uh, tells you how to do each individual stitch that they call for within the book. And next up, I'm sorry to say, is the pattern for this uh, cheeky little turtle. Okay, so that's all I can pretty much show you of that one. And then our unicorn and our seahorse. Oh, this is daft. They are the smallest pictures in the world. So I'm just going to fold my book over slightly and bring it up and hope the camera focuses. So that is the seahorse and the unicorn patterns. Now that seahorse and that unicorn pattern are pretty much identical to the pattern that I received and when I bought my Aragurumi thread from Aldi's. I'm going to go and I'm going to check the patterns line by line to see how close they are as I haven't actually made the Aldi's unicorn or the Aldi's seahorse yet either. Right, so do I think it is worth the original £4? Maybe for a starter kid for a child then yes because hey, when they get bored and they chuck it away that's not a problem but um, if we want to make it for anybody I would suggest swapping out this yarn because just holding it it's itchy, it's scratchy. So it wouldn't be a, a project that I would make using this yarn to give to a child say to play with, especially not a little one. Um, it would be used for just popping on a shelf and making things look pretty. Right, I am going to head off now. I will see you all really, really soon. Now, keep an eye out in whips and bits because you never know. I may get around to making this turtle because I don't think it's going to take that long to do. Right, so to wrap for now, everybody. Right, so at some point in the near future, I plan to give these away um, in a competition. So make sure that you put your comment in the comment section down below. As you never know, it may end up being a mystery draw, which means that I will just solely come on here and um, run this video through the random comment picker and let it pick a name and then tell you all about it in a whips and bits rather than having you enter a normal competition and wait, wait, wait. <laughs> right, anyway, I will speak to you all later. Bye, see, bye. So I'm now going to head off and I will see you really, really soon.